Hello and welcome to The Final Authority, where we keep it real, discussing real issues in real time affecting our community. I'm your moderator today, Brian Isaac Marshall, and on the panel with me, I have Miss Amber Eddings, and I also have Mr. Dorian Walco. Thank y'all for joining me today. Um, we're going to jump right into the first topic today, um, so let's get started. While a task force in Atlanta is reviewing an ordinance proposed by Councilman C.T. Martin to outlaw sagging pants, Hawkinsville, Georgia has jumped ahead and became the first government in the state to outlaw the fad. Question number one, what do you think about this, this ordinance that there has come about about the sagging pants? We're gonna start with you. Okay, well, personally, mm -hmm. um, I don't think that the sagging pants look is positive in any way. Okay. However, I do think that people have the right to wear it that way and the government is out of line trying to pass um, an ordinance against it. Okay. Mr. Dorian. Um, I agree with Miss Amber. Like, I'm not a fan of the sagging in the pants, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it's not that serious to like start a law over it. Okay. Well, do y'all, okay. So why why shouldn't the government, or why shouldn't the, why shouldn't they have laws for people to wear, who go walking out showing their butt and you know girls who showing their thongs and you know it's indecent exposure you know what I mean like should we all walk well, around naked or what? Well, I think it's more a question of who's making the laws and okay. I feel like I understand what you're saying but I feel that if it is passed we become even more targeted. I feel like we've already been racially profiled. Who is we? African American okay. young men I'm speaking of African American young African American males mm -hmm. okay and I think there is another way to racially profile with them mm -hmm. if they have their pants sagging that's the majority of young African American men so you telling me if I want to walk out in the street with my underwear on that and that's it, just my underwear that'd be okay it's not the same as sagging your pants though why not walking out the street in just underwear and having jeans on that's just sagging is two different things okay but I, the people who I've seen sagging pants, I mean, you can literally see their butt, you know, and I mean, I hope if they lift their shirt, you might be able to see usually, everything in front, too. Usually, the shirt is covering. It's long enough. Okay. So where I think they just get the look okay. of, that you see in the hip-hop industry. I okay. don't think that it's indecent exposure. Now where, where, did, where did this, because I'm not really familiar where the sagging pants are because I like to wear my pants around my waist because I do believe the numbers... <laughs> that are on the, the back of my pants and say 30, 32 or whatever, means, means for my waist, not for my, my knees. Mm -hmm. So I mean, where did, where did this start? Do y'all know? And the other reason was like, in jail, if you were to sag your pants, that means you're like inviting another prisoner to do whatever. Whatever meaning? Like sexual things oh, or whatever. So now we come to the origin of the sagging pants. Mm -hmm. So now you are saying, when a dude wears his pants down, it's not, not because he can't, because you can wear a belt if you're not in jail. So it's, it's because he's inviting another dude to want to have him sexually. That's what it meant back then. In jail. So why, is, why does it mean, why it means something different now? It's just a different period it's of time. Involved. Things change yeah. over time. If it started with, you know, you're inviting, you know, people to want to, you know, it's, it's a sexual, I guess, kind of invitation. Why would you continue that, you know, that trend? It doesn't have the same meaning. What, so what does it mean? It's, it don't really mean nothing. It's just like a fashion thing now. Like people just sag their pants. Like people wear tight clothes. Should anybody regulate how uh, anybody wear their clothes or a certain age right. or what? It shouldn't be like a na nationwide law. But mm -hmm. at a school, like if you are gonna like regulate how people wear their pants, then it should be like part of your dress code. Like not the main topic. Like just one of the things on the dress code. Mm -hmm. I really think that all schools, but at under um, high schools and okay. under, should have uniforms. But all schools, all schools don't. And so I feel like the school should regulate you until, you know, you're 18 or until you, you know, get your diploma. Now, how do y'all feel about, you know, private, private institutions at the college level? If a, if a college, you know, had regulated, you know, how people wear their clothes, would you still want to go to that college or not? Um, I think it depends on whether I felt that it was fair. Mm -hmm. um, I think that if a college said, you know, we want a more presentable look, a private institution, I, su mm -hmm. I should say, then I think that would be fine and you would adhere to that because you applied to that school. Right. Now, I don't know if every college across America should have strict regulation mm -hmm. on that, but 
I, I don't think that would be as much of a problem as passing a law. Okay. To where you'll be fined or jailed or community service. But is there is there a stereotype like are all dudes who are all dudes who wear their pants down? Are they all gangsters and thugs and criminals or? No, not necessarily. Because like you might just get caught on a bad day where you just forgot your belt and your pants <laughs> to just keep falling down like me. That happened to me before. You forgot your belt. Oh. And your pants just kept falling. Yeah, like I didn't mean to sag intentionally, but it's just because I didn't have a belt on so my pants sagged. Okay, so well, I think that there's obviously a negative connotation mm -hmm. with uh people, even if they're not involved in criminal activity, it mm -hmm. does evoke that based on the way you see. I mean, actually, a lot of people that have their pants sagging mm -hmm. are, and that was also another thing. They had, You need big pockets for the whole street criminal thing. It seemed like it's, you know, the dudes who wear their pants down to their ankles, mm -hmm. and, you know, the white tees. And I don't know if you had a knife or a gun under but there. I could say that somebody with a big, a big long trench coat, mm -hmm. you know, with the whole, after the Columbine situation, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean we should outlaw trench coats because of what happened. Mm -hmm. But can you see how, how how that would how that would be a, of an issue, seeing that you know that that profile that image, you know, will let people know that oh this type of person is a criminal. Do you see how that might be an issue? It might okay. be an issue. But I do. I do. You think they're just really targeting black black males? Is just another way. I, to, e even if they're not, mm -hmm. I really feel that it will become mm -hmm. if that law is passed. I don't think they're going to be uh, hunting down all the construction workers out there with their pants down. I think it's going to be the black <laughs> the youth. workers with their pants down? Yeah. And <laughs> I, I think it's going to end up being the black youth that are, and we try, we're trying to keep them out of the system. And this is, like, I feel another way for them to be put in the system. Well, we have the final authority, but Deshauna Wiggins visited Clark Atlanta University's campus to discover the people's authority regarding sagging pants. I feel like the sagging initiative is a bunch of BS. <laughs> I really don't like it. Uh, I feel that, you know, people who like to sag, you know, that's what they like to do. So why would you try to, you know, stop that? So, I mean, I don't think it's right. I kind of think it's funny because my mom said that when you're in jail and your pants are sagging, that means you're waiting for it. Okay. So, I mean, honestly, it's just it's just freedom of expression. If that's how you feel and that's what you want to do, I believe you should be able to do it. Great. And it's, you know, we should get into more important stuff instead of somebody sagging, you know. That's what they do, so. Yeah. Why are we okay. tripping? I got that. Um, are you personally offended by it when you? I mean, not really. I mean, I sagged, so you know, if somebody try to come at me, you know, that I'm sagging, I mean, I might get offended, but I'm not really tripping over it. That's okay. you know. Okay. Now, do you think the law will be passed here in Atlanta? Yeah, I think so. Cause I mean, they're serious about this. They're really okay. serious about you know people sagging. So, I think it will be passed. I don't think it's right. Uh, do you think the law will be passed? Honestly, in Georgia, probably, but um, I don't think, I think it's kind of stupid. I think it's a waste of time, really. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people say, so a they, lot of, a lot of tickets. that's a lot of tickets, <laughs> you're right, so you're right. that makes no sense, for real. Okay. And a lot of young kids are sagging, so I mean, 13, 12 years old, so you about to give them a ticket because they sagging? Mm -hmm. It's just, it's a waste of time.